Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, this is Dante Collector here with another review. And here I have the Prime, uh, War Machine Prime or Deluxe Edition figure. Um, and I have something like this from the Toy Biz times, but this one I think it will do a little bit better because the stand, well, the stand for that one is a little wonky. Yeah. So it keeps falling and the articulation I think will be a lot better. And I think the weapons on the shoulders aren't gonna be so loose as mine is. So, I mean, this is a little cool and this is cool to have. But here is, uh, here's the front for you with the War Machine logo here. Here's the side art, looks really cool. Here's the back, if you wanna pause and read this, you can. Here's the top with the War Machine logo or Colonel logo. Here's the bottom with the DCPI. Uh, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, so here's War Machine out of the packaging. So he comes with a crazy amount of accessories here. So let's start off with his head. Here's Rody's head here. You get this nice flat top look with this little lines going through the sides here looks really cool nice beard it's really cool and yeah they did a really good job on this uh head sculpt um and then you these like missile launchers um blast effects these missiles are diff separate pieces so you could take them off if you want but I mean, I'm gonna keep mine on because there's nowhere else to really put them if you take these off, so yeah. This is cool, you have that nice translucent yellow there and then it goes into dark gray smoky looking color there. So that's cool. And then uh, you get this other cool plastic effect with like, if you want to have them doing like rapid fire going through from the side. Uh, you can do that, so it'd be something, I'm not sure, it'd be, I think it'd be on this arm? Yeah, it would be. So you get him to go like this, kind of, so it'd be going inward, but that's cool. Um, and then you get this other blasting effect, I th this is supposed to be going for his machine gun turret on his shoulder. So that just ports in just like that. That's cool. And then you get these two little tiny blasting effects on this uh, that have these little ports here. And those would just go in the same place that one like machine gun looking port went into. So you get it to look like it's just doing one shot at a time but I don't think you could really get two of them in there at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, you can, but it just looks weird. Um, and then you need these two smoke effects so you can get them to just port them in like that and it looks like it's just finished shooting. Just like that. So that's pretty cool. These are the same thing, those, these four things are the same thing that we've seen with the Black Widow figure, um, the white suit Black Widow comic version figure. And you get these two uh, blast effects for his feet. Um, and I know that because this flat part here is longer. And for that, you wanna port, put them in here if you wanna have them be in the stand, they're translucent, yellow, orange. And this one's just yellow and it goes into that smoky kind of color there for the bottom, which I think is really cool. We got these for the um, Walgreens Deluxe Edition. I mean, not Walgreens Deluxe Edition. Walgreens exclusive Iron Man 2020 figure. So these are pretty cool. And I'll put that, I'll show you guys how to put them up when I pose them at the end. But then let's go over 
war machine here. Looks pretty cool. All right, this is my third time trying it now. Hopefully my phone doesn't go nuts on me. So let's go over the looks of war machine here. So you get this nice looking helmet here for war machine, just like war machine does look like in the comics. You get this nice gray face plate here, gray helmet. You get this little laser pointer side on, on the side of his helmet here. You get this nice looking uh, missile launcher here. I'll go over the articulation in a little bit. And then you get the machine gun with the laser pointer there in the side too. And then you get these shoulder pads, good sculpt. You get this gray arc reactor. Um, you get this gauntlet here. It's attached, so it's not a separate piece. You get these uh, ha fisted hands from all the other Iron Man figures, I believe. It's just repainted dark, uh, like black or gray, whatever color they used. And you get this forearm machine gun turret here. I showed that already. And it has these holes here to port those blasting effects in. Um, so that's really cool. Nice sculpt work there. You get this belt, it's a separate piece. So if you want to take that off, you can, but I'm not going to. You get these gray thighs there. And then you get that armored knee pad there, shins, boot. I like the sculpt here, it's really cool. And then boots are, I think, are also from Iron Man, repainted. And yeah, but then in the back, you get that war machine butt. Um, back of this legs there. I wish they could paint that a little bit, just so that way it doesn't look like that, but I mean, it's not bugging me that much. Um, but yeah, let's go over his articulation. So his head is a disc, well, I think it's actually a ball joint. Yeah, it's a ball joint. So it's double dumbbell ball joints. So it's ball on that side and ball on the top there too. So you get him to look up, not that much. And then you get him to look down quite a bit. You get a nice side to side motion. You get him to pivot a lot, which is actually really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then his shoulder pads actually move, but it doesn't have a joint. It's just pad like glued on there. So you get his shoulders to go out close to 90 degrees, I guess. And then rotation, you can do that much because that pad's kind of getting in the way there. Uh, he has a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge down that far. And that up that far, 360 rotation. I wish they could add like um, repulsor blasting hands. That'd be nice because he has repulsors on his hands. And then he has an ab crunch, so you get him, whoa, that was weird. You get him to go down that much. Backwards, same deal. He has a waist swivel, so you get a 360 rotation there. Uh, his legs to kick out that far forward a lot backwards not quite as much he has a thigh cut there we go he has a double jointed knees his ankles can hinge up that far down a lot a nice ankle pivot and then another thing his his um missile launcher and machine gun so it has these like little slots here so it can raise up like that and then it can rotate so that's cool. And then same deal with the missile launcher too. It goes up side to side and yeah. And then I'll show you guys how to get them posed up with these. So you just wanna port those in like that. Get the other one, same thing. And then this is supposed to be there. Just put it in there. Same deal here. It's one problem. I wish they were like the same, like actually together instead of separate. And it's a little difficult to get them balanced, but it's pretty cool. I, it, when you, oh, that didn't go so well. Okay, let's try that again. Let's make him go backwards a little bit here. Come on, get in there. First, I'm just going to put these on for him to make him look cool. Uh, where did that missile? There you go. And then I didn't show you how to put these in yet, but yeah, just match it up. Pretty easy. Boom. Just like that. Oh, oh, that's not good. I don't think I did that right, did I? 
We want to do it like this. There we go. Now it's in there good. But except it's going upward. And then I'm going to use these. There we go. Ah, uh, come on. Get up there. Get in there. There we go. And then you gotta like stagger him so he has more balance, I guess. Just, well, it's a little tough. There we go. I think I got him. Let's see if I can raise this up a little bit here for ya. So, there he is. Looking cool. Oh boy. Uh, right after I do that. Okay. Okay, never mind. Not looking so cool now. But I guess that's one of the problems here. I wish these things were a little bit more stable than they were. They are right now because they're just like wobbly from the bottom. Like that's why I wish they were like two, the same piece instead of two separate pieces. So that way it just stays up like that. But it's a little tricky. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. Okay. Well, I'm not even gonna bother with that anymore. So um, that's why I have I have the Ironman 2020 leaning against the shelf, so that way it doesn't fall right now. So that's how I'm doing that. I wish these wish they could have figured out a better system than these. Like at least like get glued up a little bit and maybe have it a little heavier at the bottom. But I mean that would increase the cost a little bit. But I like the figure itself. I like that a lot. The only problem that I have is like the, the rotation there. But I mean, it's enough to get him to look like he's pointing at you like that. So I'm not really whining about that now. That but the only thing that I wish they could have done is actually the head raising part because you want him to look like he's flying. If you want him to look like he's flying. Oh, and that's a separate piece. So you can just put that back on as a ball joint. Uh, okay, sorry, it's a little bit of a longer review. Um, but yeah, you get it to go like that there. Apparently. Okay, never mind. But yeah, you can't you can't get his head to look up to make it look like he's flying, which kinda sucks. So I wish they could have done a little bit better on that one. But let's do a side by side comparison with the Toy Biz one. And here's the new Marvel Legends figure War Machine here and the Toy Biz one here. Uh, obviously, this one's a little bit weird, but a little, a little bit different. But I really do prefer the new Marvel Legends one. And my rocket launcher broke on this one. But I just usually keep it balanced like this. So that way it stays on there. But it has really cool accessories. Uh, they did a lot better with the accessories on this one than this one and but one really cool thing about this one the faceplate comes off and it reveals Brody but then it gets a little tough to put that back on and make it look like it's like its own head so I mean uh yeah but they definitely improved from this one obviously because this one looks a little wonky especially with this thing in the back I don't know why even it is um and then yeah uh but like I said, really cool figure. Just wish they added that a little more head articulation, neck articulation, and then that shoulder stuff too, rotation. But besides that, that's my only gripes with it. Oh yeah, plus these, you you guys already saw that. That's pretty much self-explanatory with what I was dealing with there. But yeah, I like to the figure. These are my worst enemy. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this figure. It looks really cool. And it's cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he. Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting 
get me being able to do that and I'll skate more games, uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.